Angular's got a ton of moving parts, but we finally made it to the last one we'll be looking at, routing. Up until this point, we've worked with apps that have just one view, and that's fine, but it's not very functional or interactive. Single page applications typically have many different views or screens that you can interact with. A router handles loading these views based on the URL. When we generate an Angular app with Yo Angular, it asks us if we want to include a number of modules. One of the options is Angular Route. This routing module works well, but it's kind of limited since it doesn't allow for nested views. We want to have specific sections of the page update and change while the rest stays the same. So instead of using this Angular Route module, we'll use the community-built routing module called UI Router. The documentation for the UI Router module is incredibly detailed. Make sure to also check out the website in the sample app to see all of the functionality UI Router offers. Since UI Router doesn't come as part of the default installation, we need to add it to our project. The Angular generator uses Bower to install Angular, so let's use Bower to install UI Router. Don't forget to add the dash "-s", to save UI Router to the Bower config file. One of the files that's created when we generate an app with the yo angular command is a grunt file. This file manages a lot of the development process, from watching files for changes to reloading the browser. One of the cool things is that it can pair with other commands, like the Bower command we just used. When we installed UI Router with Bower, Grunt saw that and included it in our index file. Everything that we've been building up to this point has all been inside our Udasamils module. We created the module and then attached controllers and services to it. UI Router is a module itself and contains its own inner components. Back when we created our module, we passed an empty array of dependencies. Now we have to add UI Router to that list so we can use it. Just like injecting a service into a controller, to inject one module into another, we just add the name as a string. So this is injecting the UI Router module into our Udasamils app module. A word of caution though, all over the docs it's UI-router, but when you include it, it's UI.router. This little guy's tripped me up several times, so watch out that he doesn't get you too. We've looked at why UI Router is better than the default router module. We've added UI Router to our project, and we've injected it into the Udasamils module. Let's take a look at how to set up UI Router to manage the state of our app.